what's good youtube this your boy chi world back at y'all again with another art video man if you're new to this channel hit that like button comment subscribe make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you boy drop some heat in today's video we finna draw future step by step sensational so without further ado let's jump right into this video first thing we're gonna do we're gonna drag and drop our image hold shift and we're gonna fit it on this artboard Let's bring it down to size a little bit then you want to come up and drop the opacity and bring the opacity down about right there then we're gonna come over here to the layers and we're gonna lock that layer create a new layer right above it then we're gonna come up here and set our pressure to our brush I'm using the Wacom Cintiq you gotta have a digital art tablet if you want to be able to get the pressure options you see right here okay I'm gonna hit okay then I'm gonna go to pressure change this number to three change that number to three hit okay then we're gonna come up here to my brush change this pencil to the brush and now I zoom in by holding control and tapping the plus and you zoom out by hitting control and the minus sign so let's zoom in and let's start doing the line work man we gonna copy this little spot right here hold out and create little patches right here so we you know what I'm saying all right cool we create our little hair patch so come right here make it more fuller the closer it get to the top we're gonna make it fuller so to give like a better illusion of a fade now make our brush a little bigger closer to the head right closer to the top of the head like the closer we go up the thicker and closer we make our hairs so to give it a fade see what I'm doing give it that illusion it's fading okay I bet now let's come down here to this mustache let's go ahead and add his little hairs make our brush small
Now, let's move this color black to the top. Let's go to our pencil tool. Make sure your pencil tool settings look exactly like this. And now we finna color the dreads in. So let's go. So all we gonna do, we gonna fill it in like this. Okay, now that we finish with our line work, what you want to do is you want to highlight everything like you see here. You want to come to object, then you want to go to expand appearance, then you want to go to your pathfinder and click merge. You want to hit merge so you can make all these little lines become one layer. So. Let's hit merge. And it's gonna combine every stroke together. All right, bit. Now I just made all that one. Go to your layer tab and drag your line work to this sheet of paper with the plus on it to make a copy. Lock the top copy. And now let's go to our swatches. If you haven't got the keyword color palette, man. All you got to do is click my link tree that's in the bio in this video and it will send you straight to my Etsy store where you can purchase my color palette. So let me go to my color palette. It's going to look like this. If you purchase it, you're going to get this little AI file and all you do, I'm going to show you how you install it. When you open up your swatches. You click these books right here. Then you go to other library and wherever you save it on your computer, you just go to it. And then you click the AI color palette folder file right here. And it'll just pull right up like this. All right. Now we about to start coloring this piece. So, let's we'll start with this tone. Go to the rectangle tool, and I'm on my second line work layer. What I'm gonna do is drag that color over the entire picture. Right click the color, go to arrange, and send to back. Then I'm gonna highlight everything and hit merge. So I can make the color become one with the line work. Right click the color. Isolate selected group and we're gonna delete this out of color. So what isolated selected group is is every area that's closed off it treated like its own group. So that's what that is. I'll delete this. Another thing I like to do too, um I like to hit this drop down menu. Let me move the swatches on my layers. Hit the drop down menu on the color layer that we just added. Hit it again. And I like to lock all my black lines. So I stroll down to my last black line. Let me see. Let me stroll up just a little bit. I keep the colors unlocked. But all my black lines, I lock them. And I keep the top two unlocked and I close it back. So now I can change things without making a mistake and deleting my line work. So isolated selected group. I can select all this now. And I ain't got to worry about it selecting my black lines. 
it's just going to select the colors that we kept unlocked. So, go ahead and make that. Now, we're going to create a copy of our color layer. Lock the bottom copy. Turn the eye off real quick. Then I want you to go to the one in the center right here. And we're going to hit the Y on your keyboard to pull up this magic wand. And we're going to select the skin tone. And then you want to hit delete. After you do that, you want to lock that layer back. Turn the eye back on on the bottom one and create a new layer and put it between these two and this is gonna be our shadow layer so let me go back to my color palette and we gonna start from my darker tones to our lighter tones so let me um Go to my pencil tool, move my color to the top, make sure the bottom one locked. Let's get right into it. Last but not least, what we got to do, we got to do those, those dreads. We're going to make a copy of our line work. Go to the very top, unlock it. We're going to get this white selection tool. We're going to select the line work, and then you're going to hit this circle right here. Draw inside. After we select draw inside, we're going to come to our pencil tool, and we're going to go to gold. there you have it you guys how to make a cartoon head step by step thank you guys for watching make sure you stay tuned more heat coming soon and i'm out this time